Lena, don't litter, please. Hello everyone, welcome to Lily English. Learning English is simple and easy with Miss Lily. Nah, hari ini nih, pagi-pagi, Miss Lily sudah mendapatkan sampah berserakan di dapur. Bagaimana kira-kira? Is it a good thing? No. So, it is not a good thing ya. Ini bukan hal yang bagus. Sebenarnya, membuang sampah sembarangan itu dilarang. Tapi, yang terjadi masih berserakan di atas meja. Actually, you should throw the trash on the dustbin. We will learn how to prohibit something or to give suggestion of something. Are you ready? Baik, langsung saja sambil Miss Lily mau membuang sampah ini dulu. Sekarang silahkan menyimak video berikut ini. Lina and Kara are visiting Borobudur Temple. When they are walking around the temple, Lina unconsciously throws her plastic wrap away. Lena, don't litter, please. I'm sorry, Kara. I didn't mean it. You shouldn't do that. Put it in the rubbish bin. This temple is our cultural heritage. I know we should keep it clean. Lena, don't sit on the statue. Why? Look, it is made of stone. I know it is, but you could break a piece off. I'm sorry, you're right. That's okay. Oh, look, there's a tourist. Let's ask for a photo. Nah, bagaimana tadi videonya? Ya, seru kan? Ada siapa saja tadi? Ya, benar. Kara dan Lena. Ya, dia, mereka sedang berada di suatu tempat. Nah, mereka kira-kira ada di mana? Benar sekali. Lena dan Kara are at Borobudur Temple. Lalu, apa saja dialog yang terjadi di antara keduanya? Ya, di dalam dialog tadi atau di dalam video tadi ada ungkapan dari Kara Don't litter Don't litter Don't litter artinya jangan membuang sampah sembarangan Lalu apa lagi tadi ungkapan yang ada di video tadi yang berarti melarang? Ada yang tahu? Ya, benar ketika Kara berkata Don't sit on the statue Don't sit on the Don't sit on the statue. The statue. Jangan duduk di atas statue atau patung. Itu dilarang juga ya. Jadi untuk melarang kita menggunakan don't. Tadi don't litter. Don't sit on the statue. Nah, tapi ada lagi nggak, Miss? Kira-kira ungkapan yang digunakan untuk melarang? Ada. You can use. Kalau kemarin, kalau pertemuan sebelumnya harus itu must, maka Dilarang itu you can use you mustn't you mustn't litter you mustn't sit on the statue oke okay, so we can use don't and mustn't A don't diikuti oleh verb point don't and mustn't sama-sama melarang or express prohibition nah bagaimana kalau saran nah di video tadi ada ungkapan apa yang saran kira-kira we should keep it clean kita seharusnya menjaga agar ini tetap bersih gitu ya. Nah, di situ ada ungkapan shake it. That is one of the expression of giving suggestion. Ada lagi contoh lainnya? Oke, okay, misalkan anak-anakku sekalian semuanya sudah mau ujian. Nah, kemudian ibu ibu guru akan memberikan saran agar kalian belajar untuk mempersiapkannya. So, you should study hard. Jadi untuk give suggestion, we can use should. Subject diikuti should and then verb when. Nah, bagaimana kalau kita langsung latihan saja? Are you ready for the quiz time? Number one. What is the dialogue about? Ya benar, the dialogue is about the visiting a temple. Miss kok bukan tentang throwing away the rubbish? Ya karena itu hanya bagian kecil dari dialogue. Kok bukan sit on the statue? Itu juga merupakan bagian kecil dari dialogue. But the whole dialogue is talking about visiting a temple. 
Number two, where does the dialogue take place? Yes, right. At the temple. Tadi di mana dialognya terjadi? Ya, di Candi Borobudur or a temple, sebuah candi. Okay, next, number three. Who are involved in the dialogue? Yes, good. Kara and Lena. Karena dalam dialog tadi hanya ada Kara and Lena, tidak ada Taurus atau uh, pengunjung lainnya ya di dalam dialog tersebut. Oke, okay. good job. Nah, kalau atau anak-anak mau belajar lebih dalam lagi, ingin kuis lagi, you can click the description of the video. So, keep studying and keep practicing English since Learning English is simple and easy with Miss Lily. Goodbye!